Hello and welcome to SaaS News Digest. And starting off today, let's begin talking about soda. Well, soda is one of the most popular beverages in the world. We all have our flavors. And did you ever wonder how major companies develop so many flavors? Although it used to be a matter of brainstorming and random attempts, PepsiCo is trying something new. According to the recent news, PepsiCo's latest method for making new flavors can be found in AI. Artificial intelligence can give soda companies the chance to figure out what people want to drink without even tasting it out. The way it works is simple. AI gives the soda juggernaut the ability to figure out what people want to drink based on their current buying habits. Everything from figuring out whatever sweeter drinks work to how people interact with flavors goes into it. Unsurprisingly, there's a SaaS company behind it all, and it's called TasteWise. And over 95% of recipes have been included in its programming, given its amazing span of flavors. TasteWise is also used by other major names, including Nestle and Dole. AI is also being used to make the entire consumer marketing process much easier. And this includes customer service. And with that said, even PepsiCo realized the importance of human interaction. So there are still customer service reps that are sent in to help clear things up when needed. And this should be the aim of AI, really. Blending people with tech. And next up, let's talk about something a little less sugary, yet just as sweet medicine. In recent years, the price of drugs has gone through the roof. We all know it. AI is currently being used to help make the drug production process much easier. And this includes coming up with theoretical pharmaceuticals that are difficult to put together today. And that's the goal of the startup known as Molecule One. Malikun's goal is to create a machine that can create theoretical molecules expected to work as major components to new drugs. The machine could help eliminate guesswork when it comes to creating drugs, even when there is not much data that could give people a clue on how to make them. It also would be able to predict organic reactions in people, such as an AI program would be priceless when it comes to creating new pharmaceuticals. This would allow a new cures to be developed and preliminary tests predicted with a matter of days. Wow. It could also lead to a new wave of affordable drugs, as well as groundbreaking cures. As one would expect, obviously, this requires a lot of money. And recently, Malikul was able to grab a cool $4.6 million for additional research and development. Malikul made a part of its platform completely free for COVID-19 research, and now we might see some more work on it soon enough. Should this work well? Well, we might never need to worry about finding potentially a cure again. My name is Artem Ghassan, and I help founders reach $5 to $10 million of AR by combining the power of thought leadership, personalization at scale, and video content just like this. To learn more about this amazing technology and innovative approach to grow the revenue, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn.